This is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra drop test. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. I'll also be taking this phone apart for the teardown, so keep an eye out if you're interested in seeing that. Let's see if the S24 Ultra handles drops better than the S23 Ultra or the S22 Ultra. Both of those resulted with the screens getting cracked on the drop tests I performed. The screen is flat this time around, as well as the frame being titanium, so hopefully it'll be an improvement for durability. I'll start off by dropping it on the screen from waist height onto concrete. From this first drop, there seems to be some scrapes on the frame where it impacted the ground. The screen is working fine and no issues here. At first look I didn't notice any damage to the screen, however looking again I noticed on the top right corner, the screen is cracked. I can't say I see much of an improvement here with the Gorilla Glass Armor Samsung says is being used, however I didn't notice them saying much about the glass strength being improved, aside from them saying the scratch resistance being better. Now I usually attempt to drop at head height as well, but since it already cracked on the corner from waist height, the screen is now compromised. So dropping at head height will almost guarantee additional cracks or damage to the screen. So no point in doing that since the entire point was to see how much beating the screen can withstand from a drop on a rough surface. And we already got our answer. Again results can vary from how the phone is dropped and where. Let's move on to the second drop, which will be on the back from waist height. There are some additional minor scrapes on the bottom of the titanium frame most of which is just dust from the concrete which brushes off, but no cracks on the back. And no real damage I can see on the camera glass. The screen still works fine. Looking closer, we can see a minor crack or chip on the top left of the screen glass as well now. For the third drop, I'll attempt to drop on the side of the titanium frame. We can see another scrape on the bottom corner of the frame by the S Pen. Aside from that, no additional damage and the screen is still operating fine. For the fourth and final drop, I'll attempt to drop it on the bottom rim of the phone. From this drop, the S Pen has slightly popped out and there are more scrapes or scratches on the bottom corner of the titanium frame. There is no damage to the back glass and the screen works fine. So at the end of the day, I can say there are some improvements with the frame, but as far as the screen glass strength when it comes to drops, I don't see any improvement. I mean yeah, the glass didn't shatter with major cracks all over the screen, but it should be able to handle a drop from waist height onto a rough surface without getting any cracks. The fact that companies like Huawei are able to use technology like Kunlun glass on their smartphones, which don't crack or break with drops from head height or even higher, and even from being ran over by heavy machinery or hit with hammers, it just surprises me that manufacturers like Samsung can't make use of similar tech or glass which can handle much better both with scratches and drops. Let's take a quick look at the titanium frame. Now I'll be placing some sand and gravel on top of the screen and moving it around to see if I can get any scratches on the screen.
Now as far as scratches go, I can't seem to find any. So I'll definitely say it does handle scratches very well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.